Hi everyone! Today we will share some common mistakes in using Asana for both Asana beginners and frequent users, who can use this video as a way to check themselves. To start using Asana and take 100% out of the tool, you should really pay attention to the internal usage conventions. From our own experience of implementing Asana in different companies, we have gathered 10 most common mistakes which you should pay attention to when working with the tool. Let's begin! Mistake number 1. You have not filled your profile with info. Does your profile look like a letter next to an email? Even if you work in a smaller team for now, in the future more users may join your Asana, for example, your colleagues from other departments. It is much nicer to see who exactly you're working with and whom you can contact. Fill out your name, upload your photo, and include some description of your role and what you do. Mistake number 2. You don't have task naming conventions. It is important to name tasks similarly, otherwise your Asana will soon drown in chaos. Decide with your team how the tasks are named based on the process, what you add to custom fields, and what is placed in tags. This concerns all processes in your Asana. Mistake number 3. You don't use project descriptions. People can get lost if they don't get instructions on how to use their working environment. Use project descriptions or separate tasks to remind everyone why the project exists and how to use it. This will be a great help to all employees, especially to newcomers. Mistake number 4. You create tasks hanging in the air. Just creating tasks left and right may lead to people losing something you've asked them to do. They cannot magically see everything you have noted to yourself. To make your tasks visible, make sure to do the following. Add the task to a project. This way it will find its place in your working environment. Assign the task to somebody. This will place the task in their My Tasks menu. Choose the due date. Try to choose the due date as soon as possible for it to be seen in the calendar and for the assignee to be able to fit it in their workload. Mistake number 5. You have too many personal projects. And you use them not only for your own tasks, but also assign tasks to others from there. It is okay to have a project only for yourself, but only to create an overview of those tasks that concern only you. To see all the tasks where you take part in, as well as all the tasks you've made for your colleagues, you can use search instead. Mistake number 6. You forget about privacy settings. Before getting to work, please note the privacy settings of the projects and configure who will have access to what. You can do that on team, project, and even task level. Mistake number 7. You don't use custom fields library. Tasks in Asana can exist in several projects at the same time. The same works for custom fields. If you plan to use the field in a different project, add it to the library. For example, such fields as status or priority are usually the same for every project. Mistake number 8. You have not configured Asana to show completed tasks. Do your tasks disappear often? You might need to consider showing all tasks, both completed and incomplete, as default. It is good to see not only what needs to be done, but also what has been done. Mistake number 9. Your team has not decided when to create tasks and when to create new projects. This mistake is also connected with internal conventions. It is very important to decide for everyone what among your work processes requires a separate project. Mistake number 10. You do not use your account's language. This mistake concerns international teams and companies. If your official working language is English, it is best to keep all your projects and tasks, at least public ones, in this language to create better transparency to your foreign colleagues. Now, if those mistakes hit close to home, we suggest that you gather your team and work together on correcting them. Make sure that everybody in the team has filled in their profile, at least their name and role. Decide how you will name tasks in each project. Start using project descriptions. Create tasks with instructions on how to use the projects. When you assign a task, make sure that this task is in a project and has a due date. Try working primarily in shared projects instead of personal ones. Configure privacy settings of your projects and tasks. Add those fields that you use in different projects to the library. Pay attention to the project default layout. 
Does the standard layout meet your requirements? Decide when you create projects and when sections and tasks within them. Use your company's working language. If you found these tips useful, please share them with your colleagues or other teams using Asana. The tips were presented to you by Sweatbyte, Asana's solution partner in the Nordics and Russia. Please visit sweatbyte.com for more information. We hope Asana will help you to achieve great results. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day ahead!